this, today is going to be a slightly different kind of video. I'm going to do an unboxing on this. I'm going to do an unboxing. Uh, this is an aluminum diff cover that I bought for the truck. Uh, this is uh, this allegedly has a fill and drain plug on it as well. I think a spot to put like a diff cooler on there. I'm not going to do the diff cooler, but if I ever decide I want to do that, I can. Uh, my main reason for getting this cover is mainly because of the drain valve or drain plug. But also the stock diff cover of my truck is leaking. Obviously, I could just take it off. Uh, scrape the gasket off or sealer off and then reapply the sealer and stick it on there. But I figured since I got it off, I might as well put on a, a diff cover that has the fill and drain uh, plugs on it. That way I don't have to re ever remove it unless I'm rebuilding it. Which may or may not happen sometime in the future. Anyway, a um, little, little bit of a FYI on the truck. Um, the Dodge Dakotas, at least the first and second generation, are no, normally have a 8.25 inch um, differential. So the ring gear inside there is 8.25 8 inches. And my, my differential specifically has a 355 uh, ratio and it's a, lip, a limited slip or traction lock or whatever. Uh, Sure, whatever Dodge or Chrysler calls it. Uh, different companies call the limited slip different uh, different things like uh, I think Chevy's Posi Traction. I think Ford is uh, Traction Lock or Track Lock or whatever. And I know the old, older Mopars are Sure Grips, but I think they uh, changed the name later on. It's all basically the same thing. Uh, obviously, the technology is a little bit different between um, different makes sometimes. I think a lot of them uses... I know on the one in the truck, and the, the Goda uses a clutch type uh, differential, which is, in my opinion, I think one of the best ones to have. Yes, you have to rebuild them every once in a while, but... Um, they're normally not that difficult to rebuild and it's relatively cheap as well. Uh, helical, which is I think my personal favorite, uh, it's all mechanical, you don't have to worry about rebuilding them. But I don't think they respond as well. Uh, I heard stories where they don't respond as well between allowing a little bit of slippage versus two uh, or not or no slippage at all, whatever. And I can imagine the. Uh, and uh, they are t they tend to be expensive. In my opinion, the worst one to have is probably the cone type uh, limited slit uh, differentials, because uh, once they wear out, you can't rebuild those. You have to replace the entire carrier. I know Nissan and some other companies have like a viscous style differential that relies on the fluid to uh, allow for the limited slip, which is fine. As long as the fluid is fresh and clean and doing its thing, you will have the limited slip. Um, but I imagine I'll also be one of the weakest styles as well. But, you know, basic daily driving, it'll be fine. And I know some of the uh, technologies used uh, ABS to kind of apply the brakes to one tire, to the tire that's starting to slip. They apply the brakes to kind of, I guess, balance the load out that way. One tire doesn't get unloading, you start spinning. Anyway, I'm rolling on too much. Let me go ahead and uh, open up this box and show you what's inside. Because I, uh, uh, as you see, it just came in the mail. And um, yeah, so let me go ahead and cut these uh, shipping straps off. I got a decent set of scissors. So, um, Cost of this differential uh, cover was relatively reasonable. Um, that's the brand right there, G2 Axle. Aluminum differential cover, precision, strength, quality. Well, we'll see about that. Anyway, I'm kind of, that's the differential cover right here. Okay, so it's got uh, the fill plug right here, the drain plug right here. I'm not sure if this is a cooler plug. I think it is. I think you tie in between these two right here. 
I guess it could also be an inspection plug. Um, I could tell this is a cheaper version because um, some of the more expensive ones have the little stops right here that go that presses up against the the bearing covers, bearing caps inside the differential to kind of support it. This one obviously doesn't have it. It's just a thicker aluminum differential cover. And yeah, it's basically it. Nice machine surface. Right there, like I said, right there's a drain plug. Right there's potent the right there's fill plug. This was potentially a cooler cooler uh, adapter. Like I said I don't plan on using cooler on this because my I don't really use my truck like that. I guess if I was doing like hardcore racing, like track, like a cir circle track or uh, uh, lemons races, whatnot, uh, roll course races. Yeah, I'll consider it, but I think um, just driving around on the street or even uh, the occasional pass down the quarter mile, I think it'd be fine. Um, assuming this is the box for this, but it was out. I'm kind of disappointed that there was no foam in here. It was just the bubble wrap, but you know, it looks like it survived fine. There's no scratches or anything. This is made in the USA on it. Whether or not whether or not that's true or not, I have no idea. Doesn't really matter because it's a nice piece. And it comes with new hardware. I was kind of concerned it doesn't come with any paperwork saying what the torque spec is or whatnot, so you know. And of course it comes with the RTV for it. Um on my differential I already done the uh, change the uh, Gear, go, uh, gear oil and I use the gasket um, OEM is RTV I just put the gasket in there because I don't want to make a mess but like I said it's starting to leak I'm not sure it's because uh, the bolts have walk, worked their way loose because I never retorked them afterwards but um, yeah OEM is uh, RTV so I'm going to use that on this cover and like I said I shouldn't have to pull this cover off unless I'm changing um, we build into clutches or completely changing out everything in there. Um, I am considering doing a re rear disc brake conversion, so this cover will have to come up for that. But you know, you know, I could always get no more uh, uh, silicone later on. So um, that's basically it. I said it's for uh, a Dodge eight and a quarter uh, rear end. Yes, a nine nine and a quarter is stronger. It's also bigger and a lot heavier. But um, the power level that the truck's at, which is roughly probably 350, 400 horsepower, mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Never took it on the dyno. There's really no dynos around me. It's just my, my butt dyno. It could be a more than that. It could be less than that. I have no idea. Um, all I know is a lot better than what it was stock. And this stuff, this, uh, Differential can handle that no problem. Um, even though I don't really beat on it, yeah, I like to hit a hundred mile an hour merge on uh, the interstate. But um, once I'm on the interstate, I'm usually fine. Anyway, um, that's basically the video. Um, you all know what to do: like, comment, subscribe. Um, like, follow me on Instagram. My username will be in the description. And um, be safe, have fun. Don't forget to tip your waitress.